Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome to Cars and Joshy. Today I'm going to be working on mounting my catch can and running the hoses for that. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you what I did since the last video uh, that wasn't recorded. But first, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new videos. So, let me show you what I got. Alright, just a little little bit of work that I did between my last video and this one that I didn't record was I went ahead and got the wiring harness hooked back up plugged in all the injectors and the coils and every sensor here if you want to see more detail on how to run this Holly wiring system uh, you can check out the video in the link but uh, I still need to drill a hole somewhere in here to run this through the bulkhead so I'm not going to do that right now I'll figure that out later but I want to see where I'm going to get the uh, catch can mounted up I got this catch can off of Amazon it's a evil energy part and we'll see what all it comes with standard push on and clamp hose fittings it's not AN or anything like that comes with a little breather cap some steel wool as a filter which I hear is better than those brass filter fittings the screen filter because those things get clogged up these you can take out and wash if you need to comes with some hose mounting bracket pretty thick mounting bracket and then the catch can itself the canister itself is a little bit small I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing but uh, I'll make my own opinion of it after having it on here and driving it for a while it comes with a little dipstick that's pretty nice get a little evil energy sticker and then instructions so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together figure out where I want to mount it I was looking at my setup real quick and I think I figured out how I'm gonna mount this catch can I'm actually gonna use the bracket it came with drill a hole in it slide it over this bolt that holds the tensioner on and bend the bracket up right after these holes so it'll be straight up sitting like that either I'm probably gonna mount this on the other side so that it'll be facing out this way just like that so I'm pretty close to where I need my my hoses to be because there's the port right there on the supercharger that my outlet is going to go to so yep I think that's how I'm going to do it okay I'm just going to bend this bracket hopefully this works out all right Alright, this should work just fine. I'm going to drill a hole in there. And then it slides down. It'll make back to there. And I'll just put the catch can on this side. Let me see if the bottom hole will line up with that top hole. 
Nope. So yeah, I'm just gonna drill two more, two more holes up here. it all right there we go there we have it I'm thinking I'm gonna have to while I'm sitting here looking at it I might have to loosen this bolt and push this bracket or angle it up a little bit because it's pretty much sitting on the neck for the water pump there and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a hose over that but anyways I'll fix that later I think it's mounted in a pretty good spot to be out of the way. Put my oil field back in here. There we go. Alright, I'm doing a little whiteboard session here on the system that I'm running lines for for this catch can. And that system is positive crankcase ventilation. So on my system, we're gonna call this the throttle body. And then let's say I got a tube with an air intake. And I have my catch can right here out and there's a port on the supercharger right there and port on the cold air intake and then on my setup I have PCV valve right here and then I have a fresh air supply line right here so the PCV valve what it does is it relieves pressure in the crankcase and the way it does that is when you're at idle or light throttle vacuum unseats a little check ball or it could be like a plunger or something inside this valve they have a few different styles but the point is vacuum unseats that and air flows from high pressure to low pressure so when you have vacuum unseating that check ball or that plunger the positive pressure from the crankcase is going to flow out of that valve it's going to try and equalize the pressure when you're at idle so that's how it gets rid of positive crankcase but when we throw a catch can into the mix we're just trying to clean that particles those particles and stuff out of that line so that you're not just putting dirty stuff back into the intake and getting oil all caked up inside your in intake so the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna run my line from the PCV valve over to the catch can on the inlet on the catch can and then from the inlet over to manifold vacuum on the supercharger snout to keep a fresh supply of fresh air you have a line coming from your cold air intake 
over to your fresh air supply on the other on the passenger side valve cover that creates a continuous cycle of recirculating fresh air instead of uh, dirty air so technically this would be your dirty side because it's pulling every everything out of the crankcase and then this would be your clean side because clean air coming in this would also be clean since you're cleaning it from from the catch can back to the intake so let me show you what that looks like on the El Camino looks just like my diagram so here we go the PCV valve right here in the driver's side at the rear of the valve cover I've got the line going across behind the engine and it's ran up up above the passenger side valve cover all the way up and into the end on the catch can it gets filtered clean comes out goes into this vacuum port on the supercharger and then this this line right here is the fresh air supply from the what's going to be my cold air intake system and this will plug in wherever that's gonna be um, I don't have I don't have it right now and I don't know I'm probably gonna do some type of build it yourself kit or do it yourself thing but I do have an idea of how I want to route it and that's gonna be coming across and going behind the driver's side headlamp over there so that's my idea anyways um, got the catch can hooked up got the line on there should be should be okay uh, for now until I get you know the intake which I'm not quite sure when that's gonna be but uh, oh one thing that I didn't mention on the whiteboard I did put the breather on this I know a lot of people say they don't do it because it spews oil all over their engine bay but I put it there as a safeguard in case uh, you know too much pressure in the crankcase and I don't want to blow out any rear main seals or oil leaking out the valve cover gaskets or any of that stuff so I put it right there just kind of as a as a fail safe um, if I notice that it does start blowing too much oil out and starts coating stuff on the engine bay I'll either take it out or I'll I'll wrap it in some type of cloth or something and then just make the changing of that cloth like a regular maintenance type deal but I don't know I'll see how how it works out I won't know for a while anyways I've got a long ways to go on the El Camino so I'm as far as I can go with it right now hope this helps somebody out with their routing on their catch can uh, that's gonna be it for tonight I really appreciate you guys watching it's Carson Joshy Josh out